Hi there everyone, Ryan from Addicted to Nature, and today I've got a really exciting unboxing and acclimation guide for green jade shrimp for you. Now this will be the same for most of the Neocaridina and other shrimps that you'll get in the hobby, but stay tuned for this, I'll show you some good footage at the end. These are green jade shrimp, which is a species and I guess a strain that I've always wanted to keep. And when I was looking online, I had the option of getting some really high grade green jades, but the more I thought about it, aside from being expensive, I realized that I wouldn't really have anywhere to go after getting the shrimp other than growing the colony out. So I decided to settle for some medium grade green jades and then throughout the next couple of videos, which I will link in the description below, I will give you guys updates on selectively breeding them towards a very nice green color, which is something that I've always wanted to do with a colony of shrimp. And what better shrimp to start with than the hardy Neocaridina David Eye shrimps, right? So as you can see in this video, I don't have any dead in this. And I was really afraid of actually getting dead ones because the package was in transit for about five days. It was actually delayed, but Good for them, they've got the breather bags going on and uh, now time to get these guys in a bucket and start with the drip acclimation, which I'll show you. So I began by doing a drip acclimation. And basically what that means is I'm dripping tank water slowly into this tub. And this tub is just filled with the water from the bag that they were shipped in. And that way with the drip, the shrimp can slowly, very slowly get acclimated and get used to my own water parameters of the tank that they'll be in. With the drip acclimation, you start with using an old piece of airline tubing, and as you can see, I just have it running into the tank that they'll be in like a normal siphon, and you wanna keep the tip of it at the very bottom of the tank, because if it's at the top, after a while as the water level lowers, what's going to happen is you're just going to lose that water siphon. You're just gonna be using air, so it'll come back and you'll be like, where did all the water go? Because you, you, can, you can use a clip at the top like I did. And as the water travels down, it's gonna meet that knot there. And what this knot does is it dramatically slows the siphoning of the water. And with the knot, it's just a very, very simple not something that you can take out and put back in depending on your needs make a loop like that and then you're just going to put one end through and pull so with this knot like i said you can either loosen it or tighten it and change the flow of water so we're going to let this stay here for an hour or two check up on it in case it overflows and then once we're done where the majority of the water is from the tank we can move on to the next step once the tub is full of water, we can go ahead and float it on the surface for temperature acclimation. This is also a really good time to take a look at your colony before they go into the tank and start hiding. Looks like I've got about three to four males and the rest are all females. And I went ahead and dropped a piece of flake food to see if they would eat right there. And it looks like, lucky for me, they're all pretty healthy looking. So when you're done with that, here's a trick to make sure that the tub floats and not uh, roll over. You just take the lid and that's just the glass panel for the lid of this tank gallon and just push it up against the tub there that way it can move sideways a little bit but it's not going to sink it's not going to flip over and release your shrimp you can also take a thermometer and check the difference in temperature but i would wait about 15 to 30 minutes before i add it in there basically net out the shrimp and leave the water in the tub and discard that after adding the shrimp inside the tank, I realized we needed a little bit more hiding spaces, so I went ahead and added a small handful of java moss. Taking a look at all the shrimp, I've realized that most of them were dark blue or black with mixed in green, so I'm really excited to see where the selective breeding will take this colony in the next couple of months. So if you've been here since the beginning, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited and happy to be able to share my passion and my hobby with you guys. And uh, feel free to subscribe or hit that like button if you want to see where this colony and the selective breeding will take it.